Well, it's uh, 25 years between stops, uh, but it was a pretty significant weekend that I had here as a, as a Maine Mariner. Uh, we were playing uh, the Oilers farm team at the time, and uh, I, you know, unbeknownst to me, the, the Oilers were watching me, and I had a great weekend here. Played a Friday, Sunday game. Uh, we were playing seven and nine nights on that road trip, and uh, the one game they gave, off, uh, gave me off was in Fredericton between the two uh, games here. So I was fortunate enough to play well in both games, uh, stole two wins here over a weekend, and basically got me traded from Boston to uh, Edmonton. You're here in Halifax. You probably wouldn't be here if not for a lockout. And I asked you earlier today if you'd seen Zachary Fucali, and you said this will be your first time. Yeah, this is my first opportunity. Um, due to the fact that we went so far in the playoffs this year, uh, you know, usually I may have an opportunity to see some of the young prospects at the Hockey Canada event in Calgary, and, and this is one of the first years that I've missed it. I, I participated with it uh, for three or four years as, as one of the, the coaches and then just as, as an observer the last few years. But due to the fact that we we're still playing, uh, I missed out and uh, heard a lot of good things about him. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. Denny Fougier, uh, the scout in this region for the Kings, has seen a lot of them. What, what have you been told, if I, anything? I have not been told anything. I just heard that he's a, he's a good one. And, and uh, basically the, the idea of this is just for, for me to come in here and uh, unseen sort of thing and just have, have a chance to look at him and, and give my own opinion on, on what, I, what I've seen. And basically our general manager, Dean Lombardi, has, has, has asked us to just take on some different roles during the lockout here to try and make our team better and, and this is one of the opportunities between myself and uh, my assistant Kim Dillabaugh we're, we're both going to try and get out and see some of these junior kids and and uh, you know get a better look than rather seeing them just on DVD because sometimes it's hard to basically uh, you know get a real good scouting report on them just watching DVDs. We, uh, he's, he's one of our draft picks he's uh, unsigned due to this point uh, had a unfortunate incident a uh, couple weeks back where I uh, was in a collision and uh, just had to have knee surgery, so he's out for four weeks. Um, but he's a real good kid. He's uh, fun to work with. Uh, probably more raw than any of the goalies that we've had uh, in our system. So uh, we've been fortunate enough to be able to spend some extra time with him and uh, you know, work with him on the technical aspect of things. But he's a, he's a sharp kid. He uh, speaks five different languages, very well liked as, as a teammate. And he's kind of their leader there in Shikutami. And, uh, you know, he's, that, that, that's, I think, the sort of thing that makes him special. Well, I, I had the opportunity the last uh, couple of weeks to be in Manchester for their uh, training camp, and um, Andrew was one of the few faces that I didn't know and uh, had an opportunity to introduce myself to him and, and uh, just uh, spend some uh, good quality time with him uh, just due to the fact that our numbers were uh, very low. We only had uh, uh, seven defensemen in, in our training camp and 15 forwards, so it was a very small camp. Uh, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a feisty uh, individual, and I think uh, um, you know, it's going to be fun to watch him this year. Uh, did a little uh, introduction se uh, session to start training camp, and uh, most of our guys had a good chuckle because he said he, uh, he knew most of our guys firsthand. <laughs>